Destination D. Uh, hold steady! Oh no! Wait, isn't that the new food by Fuse? Does this mean they're not guilty? It looks like the firemen could use some help. Shall we? Over. Good idea. Tobot C? It's time to transform! Please step back. Stay behind the barrier. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, Water Blast! This is Tobot R making a splash at the scene of the most recent restaurant fire. Now, what do you say we kiss these flames goodbye? Let's get to work. Please step back, everyone. Huh? Shower time! Still thirsty? Oh, that was close. Hey, thank you! Let me help with my water cannon! As you can see, firefighters are brave. They're the real heroes. Pop up quiz. Do you know what to do if you find yourself inside a building when a fire breaks out? Ah, ah, ah. When you're indoors, smoke can make it hard to breathe. If you can see smoke, the fire may be too close to this door. Before opening the door, test the door handle with the back of your hand to make sure it isn't too hot to touch. If it passes the test, then open the door, crouch low, and calmly make your escape. <laughs> oh, thanks, puppy bot. Look for signs that mark the emergency exits to help you find your way outside. No, 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 no. Don't take the elevator. The electricity could cut out at any moment, and the shaft could fill with smoke, which would be dangerous. That's why you should use the stairs. But don't run, or you might trip. <laughs> so remember, all my fellow thinkers, have an emergency plan for fires and be sure to practice it regularly with your family. Well, goodbye for now. This is Tobot R, reminding you to check your smoke detectors frequently. Safety first, safety always. It's your fault. You're the reason Dolly never wants to play with me. Hi, you guys. Hi. Thanks a lot for the ride. Our pleasure. Oh, I forgot my recorder. Sorry, can you wait a sec? I need to go grab it. Okay. You're boring. And, and you're mean. Go away! Ah. Mm. Huh? Huh? Were you in my room? I was just looking for my crayons. Crayons? Those are in the guest room. Oh. Don't be upset. It's a shame that your investigation into Food by Fuse might have been a waste of time, but hey, at least you tried. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Dr. Char. I think it would be a good idea if I joined Nathan on his patrol. If these incidents are starting again, he might need some help. Do you really think it's that serious? Why, yes, I'm afraid I do. Unless we get to the bottom of this, Dado City could lose all of its restaurants. I'll go into emergency patrol mode, just in case I'm right. I need to get back to the police station, but call me if you need me. I can come back when my shift ends, okay? Thanks. You guys are the best. Food by Fuse is no longer under suspicion after a recent fire at their new location. Questions had been raised about the company. Pretty elegant, right? The plan played out just like I said it would. 
<laughs> mm. I'll admit you did well, for once. And would you believe that this is only the tip of the iceberg? That's a metaphor. <sighs> if you're as smart as you'd like us to think, Mr. Dillick, then why haven't you finished upgrading Octobot? Did you use up your extra brain cells? Ready? Peekaboo! <laughs> I'll be back soon. <laughs> What's wrong? Hmm. Here, ready? Give it a try. Say hello to Dolly, your pilot. Yeah, hey, come on! Introduce yourself already! It's confused and disoriented. This transformation's is scary. That's what I remember. What is it? Is there something up with it, Dad? Could you excuse us, please? This is a big crowd. Dee might be too shy. Okay. okay. So, uh, where did it go? There, in the corner. Mr. C, is there something wrong with my toe bot? The machinery is perfect, and so is the mechanical wiring. Software? No problems with that either. So what do you think the issue is? Well, it's possible there could be something wrong with the mind core. I really doubt that. Dolly's thoughtful and caring. That wouldn't cause her mind core to become anxious. Whatever happened, something must have made it feel unsafe. She wanted a Tobot more than anyone we know. She loves that mind core. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I think it's broken. Tobot D, please stop. I tried that, but it doesn't seem to work. We should get the other Tobots to help us stop it. Follow my lead. Very young Tobots need to be treated with care and a gentle touch. Hey there. Please come here and take my hand. I promise I will not hurt you. No! That's right. My, my. That's one flighty fighter. Hey, watch this! What you need is some real speed. Hey, this is the upgraded Octobot? He looks exactly the same. <laughs> You're wrong. So wrong. Judging a book by its cover now, are we? <laughs> What's he doing? Just who do you think you are? Are you really trying to destroy my Octobot again? Stop! Amazing. It's not even scratched. Now, from this moment forward, I, Dillic Octavius, descended from an ancient Roman emperor, will be referred to by one name only. That's right, people! Just like all the greats of our time! I should have thought of it sooner, really. Gentlemen, call me Octavius. It's a new era! And by 
By the way, every contract I've signed with Tom Fuse will be revised with terms more suited to my advantage. <laughs> and now, feel free to applaud in a show of loyalty and praise to me. Just clap, don't worry. I can assure you, sir, this nonsense won't last very long. to control it for now. If it starts to run again, hit it with the arrow and it'll freeze. Do not allow it to transform until we find out what's causing all the problems. Sorry, D. Are you scared? You can't run around for a little while, okay? Dear, oh dear, that is too bad. How can we fix all of this? See, the mind core, it is the Tobot's essence. It's hurt. That's the reason D is unstable. Are you saying someone hurt D's mind core? Mm-hmm. Do you think I did something to upset it? I was always really gentle. Could anybody else have been talking to it? No, I always keep the door to my room locked. <gasps> huh? <gasps> Were you in my room? I was just looking for my crayons. Norman! There you are! What's this for? He needs it to protect his head. What's the point? I thought you said it's mostly fluff in there. I can hear you. Don't forget that I'm the genius. <laughs> Watch your step now. Being that I'm an intellect, I must be handled scrupulously. You see, the ego has a very delicate temperament. Your Highness, D, can you go back to using simple words? I've adopted a speech pattern that suits my new rank. Get a dictionary. You might learn a thing or two from me. Yes, yes sir. So tell me, what are all these rooms being used for? What? These? It's where Tom Fuse is doing his special taste testing research. Foolish man, so short-sighted. Summon Mr. Fuse immediately. The boy suffers from separation anxiety. What? It's a fear of being separated from someone who makes you feel safe. Dolly, were you being very nice to him when you first met him? Yes. And tell me, did you start giving him less attention after you received the mind core from Dr. Char? Yes. That's it. Poor, poor Norman. He felt like the mind core had replaced him as your favorite. Hurt and angry, he was mean to the mind core when you weren't there. Oh, no. This happened because of you. If you were nicer to Norman, he wouldn't have messed up these mind core like that. Corey, that's not helpful. Everyone makes mistakes, you know that. I wouldn't make a mistake that big. Would you make a friend then ignore him? Uh, I guess not. There, see? She totally messed it up. Enough. He's right, Dr. Char. I was ignoring Norman. <laughs> and he got jealous of the mind core. <laughs> I wish I could go back in time and change things, but I can't. It's too late. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. <laughs> So what should we do then? Franklin, relax. Dolly gave it a lot of love. We can do repairs. It should recover by at least 80% once we restore the mine core's corrupted circuits. But there is one thing missing. We have to get Norman involved. He'll need to mend the remaining 20%. <gasps> Wait a minute, I almost forgot. It's my turn to patrol the city. Listen, all of you. Pay careful attention, okay? Please look after D until I come back tomorrow. Yes, yes, that's what I'll do. Norman? Are you here? Huh? Oh, 
Oh, boy. Today. Anyone want some engine oil? Oh, me, me! Uh, I'll take a medium ice double shot! Blow foam extra smooth for me! Norman? Where are you? Norman? <sighs> Come back. I'm so sorry. Huh? and footprints. Hey, Dee. Why are you here? Are you feeling better? Better! Come here! Mm. Wait, you can talk now? Little bit. That's so great! Dr. Tri says you'll get stronger every day. Listen, Dee, I'm really worried. My friend Norman's disappeared. What? Really? He's little. And he's too young to be on his own. Would you help me find him? I know he hurt your feelings, but... No! Yeah, I thought you'd say that. I understand how you must feel. See you later. I'll try and find him on my own. Huh? Okay, I'll help. Thanks! We're sorry. Dee recovered much faster than anticipated. We should go look for Dee before we get in trouble. I'm in. If Dad finds out about this, he'll ground us. <gasps> Where should we look? Oh, man. Hmm. Hey, hang on. The Tobots all have special tracking devices installed in them. Right, X? Hmm. That's right. Does anyone know Dee's signal? I've got it! Right there. He's near our school. Anyone home? Oh, he's not here either. I need some help. Maybe I should call Officer O. Wait. What are you doing? You follow. I left the sandwich on the table for you. Huh? And if you're still hungry, hey, it's mom! The fridge. Huh? Oh. Uh. You okay? They're watching Food by Fuse TV? <laughs> Dillick! I asked a question. Sir, might I remind you what's at stake here? Uh, okay, fine. <laughs> Unbelievable. <clears throat> Pardon me, Dillictavius. Will that make them loyal to us? Mm, yes, not a single doubt in my mind. Just follow me and see. Huh? Oh, it's Tom Fuse's new specialty. Now with extra yumminess. This is what a little brainwashing can do. <laughs> Come on, let go of the suit! What is it? 
Did you find him? Where? Here. No way. That's weird. How could he be in there, D? What? <gasps> no way. Do you really think that Norman would have gone down there? Norman would run away in the first place. I wasn't really mean to him, was I? One last thing. No more going to the playground alone, all right? You're home! Look at this! Oh, is that me? Cool picture, Norman. Huh? Can we play now? I'm sorry. I know I promised, but I have too much homework. This is all my fault. I should have paid more attention to him before. Wait, I know where we should look. Somehow we lost the signal. Well, we can't be too far away, right? Maybe we should look down here. Nah, how would you lift the cover? It doesn't really seem like a normal manhole. Hey, is this thing a button? <laughs> ah! What? Huh? Wow! Yeah, I did it! Huh? How did D even find that? Whoa, what's this? A secret passageway? Let's go in! Wait, don't you think that we should call Dolly first? She might get worried. She's not picking up. Well, then let's go and find D first. We can tell Dolly about it later, right? Whoa. What is this place? Why is this hole so small? If I can't fit, then none of us can. It's barely big enough for D to get through. That's what I say. Okay, then you guys can stand watch. If we find another exit, we'll call you from there. Got it. We'll be on standby. Hey, guys, a little help. Look! I think this is D's footprint. Are you sure? It's pretty faint. This way. Delictavius, you're spending a lot of time on your hair for someone who wears a helmet. Yes, well, true beauty comes from within. And I feel good on the inside when my hair looks perfect. Okay, I'm ready now. Yes, sir! <laughs> uh, hey, boss, are you all right? Uh, get away from me! I don't like hats! Delictavius, listen to yourself. You're back to sounding like Ardelic again. Uh, what did you say? Don't you ever call me your Dilic? I'm your boss, you got that? Your Highness D, I think you should see this. D! <gasps> huh? Isn't that the girl? It is her, the reporter, the one who's been writing about Tom Fuse. We'll go get her for you. Not right now, let's wait. She has a habit of attracting our very dear Tobot friends. Come here! Do you know how worried I was about you? Well, you're safe now. <laughs> Don't leave again, okay? <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Dolly, I was lost. It was scary. I won't run away again. I promise. It's all right. Everything's going to be fine. You're going to be okay now. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> How did you find your way here? <laughs> Following my mom. So you actually saw her? Uh-uh. But I found her purse strap in the tunnel. She might be in there. Hmm. 
Well, if she is, I'll find her. You will? Mm-hmm. But before I go, I'm wondering if you could maybe apologize to Tobot D for the things you said when you were upset. I think that D's feelings might have been a little hurt. D, I'm really sorry for getting mad at you. Will you forgive me? Look, I know all this is kind of confusing, but you're a Tobot and I want to help you. Sometimes humans say things they don't mean. The little boy's really sorry. <laughs> Uh, come on, Tobot! Forgive him! <laughs> Quiet! I cannot get any sleeping done with you wailing and blubbering. Um, guys, look at this! Ryan? Hi, Dolly. <laughs> what did I tell you? Just like I said, the girl drew the others right to her. Nice, boss. You really are the best. Huh. It looks like they don't have their Tobots with them. What? Ha, 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 ha. It would appear to be my lucky day. Retrieve those children and bring them to me. Yes, sir. you now. Ah. Ah. Pathetic. You are the worst personal food cutter who's ever cut food for me. Sorry, Mr. Boss, sir. Fan faster. <laughs> In a very short moment, I will have them, and then victory at last. <laughs> All right, I have D signal. They're really close. Come on, let's go. Hold on a minute. Ryan told us to be on standby. Let's just do what we're told for once. That's what I say. Oh man, are you kidding me? You think Norman's mom's somewhere in here? Mm-hmm. So where are we now? Hey guys, look! <laughs> oh no, the squid boy! <laughs> hey, run! Come on! Uh, 
had the door reinforced last week as a precaution. Those Tobots have no idea what they're up against with me back in action. <laughs> All hail Dilictavius! Hail Dilictavius! All hail Dilic! Oh. <laughs> Foolish children. I'm actually glad they got past the pincers. Yes. This gives me a chance to enjoy the show a little longer before we put an end to it. Huh? <clears throat> Look alive! Can't you see that my plate's empty again? You need to get me more cookies! Yes, yes boss. boss! We're not strong enough. It's because we're in car mode. We can't transform without Ryan and Corey! I know! I'll scale the wall! Get Dylan to transform me and I'll let you all in from the inside! That's a good idea. Then let's go, go, go! Spider mode! Uh, that's how I climb! Uh. 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 Ryan and Corey are in danger! That's what I see! Look at the children jump! <laughs> little boys, little boys, jump and play like a cat with a mouse. I could watch this all day. <laughs> what if they get away? Oh, they won't. Ah, what's this? That fixes it for now. Anyway, back to business. Get those robot pilots! <laughs> Supposed to be here. I need to transform. Dylan fell back into the tunnel. Not exactly what I want to hear. I can't let the others in unless I transform. That's a problem. What? You mean X and Y are stuck outside? The door is too strong. They can't break it. Z, watch out! Total transformation. Mmm, snack time. <gasps> Not again. This is Officer O. Come in. What? I'm on my way. <gasps> A fire? Sorry, I've got to go. Tobot! W! Transform! Thank <laughs> you.
bit to the left, please. We're stuck in traffic. Over. Robot C, let's clear the road. Copy. Over. Thank you, Jobot. What? Hold on. My Tomot! What's the point of stopping that child? Well, we just... You know how it is. It was just kind of in the way. <laughs> <laughs> you robots are such fools. That boy is of no use to us. Let him go. Go on, then, and get to it. Yes, sir. What's that? Close up on the pillar to the left. <laughs> ah. Sometimes humans say things that they don't mean. But Norman really meant it when he said that he was sorry. E, I'm really sorry for getting mad at you. Will you forgive me? Hey, you! Leave him alone! E! Forget the child already! Destroy the Tobot! Ah! Little Toba. <laughs> now, crush the little Tobot. Yes, sir. Wait. Oh, no. What now? An arrow? Something! You have to find the intruder quickly! You better let Dean go! Do you really think you can defeat the great Octobot with some little bow and arrow? Well, think again. <laughs> Luckily, she has no idea that the Octo-Eye is the weak spot. <laughs> what? <gasps> Your Highness D, the speaker's still on! <laughs> so the weak spot's in the eye! This isn't good! D, are you okay? I think so. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Hmm. Oh! Hey, look! That's a relief! Hurry! Transform on it! Toboid C! So close. Dolly, X and Y are outside. D, open the gates. Okay. <laughs> Hurry! Uh, it's stuck. <laughs> Hang on! Stop trying. That's what I say. There's only one thing that might work. We have to get my Toki to Z. I know you can do it. It's too far away, and I'm all out of arrows. Really? Wait! There, now you have one. Uh... 
You can do anything you set your mind to. You're a pilot. You've just got to believe in yourself. This one's for D. Delictavius. <laughs> I've got more than one trick up my sleeve, you know. It's retreating. Aw, but we were winning. Huh? Whoa. Whoa. What's happening? Disturbance detected. Look! This thing. Tobot! X, Y, Z! Triton Overconfident. Look here, Tobots. I will show you what the Octobot is really capable of. Get ready. Crush them all. I won't. I promise. Hi. Where have you been all this time? 
I'd love to know, too. How did I end up here? Everything's kind of a blur. What? You serious? Look over there! Oh, that man. <gasps> that woman! And him! And her! Weird. They were all reported missing. The tasters, did you wipe their memories? Don't worry. They won't remember anything about us all their time spent here. Well, except that they love food by fuse. Hmm. Those Tobots are causing too much trouble. I can't wait to get rid of them. Yes, agreed. They will be taken care of soon enough, sir. Glad to hear it. Bye-bye. Okay, there you go. How do you like it? Pretty. Well, cool, right? I'm sorry about before. You're a good pilot. You are, seriously. It's true. Do you guys even know me? I've never been one to hold a grudge. So, Dolly... Huh? Your arrows. Yeah. Can you show us how to shoot them? Nope, sorry. Aww. Mm. Whoever's trying to take over the city is stronger than Acne. Even Triton almost failed. You're right. And what's getting to me is that we don't know who is behind any of this. An invisible enemy is always a big challenge. True. So I think we need something more powerful than Triton. Hmm? You know, I had a feeling you might say that, so I made a little something. What's this? Uh -huh. I was smart. Yes! You insulted Mr. Fuse a ton of times. It was totally crazy. So you really don't remember anything? I remember falling down, but nothing after that. Well, believe it or not, Tom Fuse did everything you told him to do. What? He got you anything you asked for. No, really? Well, guess those days are over now. <laughs> I want to go back. Make me a genius again. Yeah, it feels like they have us surrounded. I guess the food must be really good. Well, how about we try some? No, we told Asher we wouldn't. Let's eat at his stepmom's place just like we planned to. Yeah, okay. Huh? What? No way. Did I just see Cory? I doubt it. He wouldn't eat lunch without us, and he said he'd never eat at Food by Fuse. Hmm. Looks like him. Hey, Cory. All by yourself again? Huh. How come your brother's not with you? Hey, I'm not here. You're not what? Will you please just go away? Excuse me, your noodles are ready. Ooh, noodles. Food by views. So what are you doing here? Uh, oops, I'm in the wrong place. Yeah, right, a likely story. I bet you eat here all the time, don't you? I'm not a regular, okay? This is my first time here. You're a bad liar. I'm not lying. Some of you will have noticed in your mapping homework the other night that the coastlines of South America and Africa almost look like puzzle pieces that could fit together. This brings me to one of my favorite Excuse topics. Excuse me, Mary, can you stop shaking dream. your leg? It's distracting. More I'm not shaking my leg. Theory is being look, discovered see? Every day. Similar hmm. plant and animal Kay. fossils have been found on the shores of different continents. These little clues tell us that it's possible the continents were once joined. Guys, check this out. What, what is, is it? it? Cool. It's the one we took on our last field trip. Ha! <laughs> I'm blinking. It's funny. Should have gone with the duck face. Hey, why are everyone's legs blurry? Because they're all super antsy. Kids these days, they can't sit still. Whoa, look who's talking. What do you mean? I'm not shaking. Well, you were a second ago. Hmm. It's really weird. What is? It's Corey. And some of the others. It's like suddenly they're all really restless or something. I've been noticing that too. Everybody's been acting so strange in class lately. Really? More than usual? Yeah, seems like it. 
and it keeps getting worse. Good thing the police force has a Tobot now. He's so strong. Tobot, ah! Transform! Fire with fire. A good dose of H2O is all this tunnel needs. <gasps> There's someone who needs help. <coughs> Sir, are you all right? <coughs> My bus is in there. <coughs> I was supposed to bring it back to the depot. <coughs> Let's save that bus. A bit of smoke doesn't scare me. I can barely see at the best of times, right, Puppy Bot? Stand back, everyone. This is a job for the city's fire department. And today, I am the department. Nothing. You'd have done the same. Bringing you the hottest news, Tobot R, reporting from the heroic scene. There, it's done. This survey will help us get to the bottom of the mystery. Totally cool. Come on, let's get to work. Mmm, this coffee isn't bad. You know what? Maybe I should open a chain of cafes. That's actually tea, sir. It's called tummy soother. <clears throat> Holmes, what's wrong with you? Sir... Don't be coy with me. You said we should play along with Dillick, and his plan was a complete failure. You have my humble apologies. Apologies are only worth so much, Holmes. <laughs> a time travel machine would be more useful. Perfect. I'm a genius. Now we wait. Where is everybody? No one will win this game. Oh, someone's coming. My very first contestant. Huh? <gasps> it's her. I hope she doesn't recognize me. Play what to win? How does this game work? It's called the Cracker Snap. It's a game of strategy and careful hand movements. Take a look at this. Watch closely. I'll give you an easy one to do first. Snap the edges to make a star. If you can do it, you can work your way up to winning a special fish portrait. This one is the grand prize. So you're saying I just have to snap the edges off? Hang on. No tools allowed. Eh? What? You have to use your hands. Hmm. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, no. Oh, you lose. Ha. Wait a sec. Can I have another turn? What are you doing? We need to get these questionnaires answered. All right. Hey, where are you going? You're not a quitter, are you? Come on, one more try. Can I have a go at it? <laughs> of course, Mr. Holmes. I have a question. Tell me, if you don't mind, am I allowed to punch the shape out instead? Uh, that's a new one. That would make it even harder. <laughs> <clears throat> well, of course, be my guest. The rules are flexible. So I was wondering, pardon my asking, do you need money? What? No, just can't find my piggy bank. Hmm, too bad. Here, why don't you take this? Consider it your stop making a fool of yourself fund. Uh -huh. Good then. Be seeing you. <sighs> Thank you so much. Have a nice day. That's it. It has to be. Layla, check this out. All the restless kids do have something in common. What is it? Apparently, they eat at Food by Fuse more than three times a week. And some of them go every day. Let's write an article. Wait a minute. 
We'd be up against a huge company. But it's our job to reveal the truth. We can do this. Yeah, you can't argue with the facts. It's all true. Now, Mr. Holmes, how did you let the situation get this bad? Hmm. Uh, ex excuse me, Mr. Fuse. Sorry, but could you tell us, uh, what situation are you talking about? <laughs> did you not bring this up at the last meeting? I apologize, sir. Very well. Let me quickly bring you all up to speed regarding our company's latest challenges. Listen carefully. You just might learn something. First, we got all of the kids to eat our food. Then we built a Food by Fuse theme park. It has noodle slides, noodle staircases, and even pool noodles. And then we had a musical genius write the catchiest jingle in the world. All the kids got it stuck in their heads. But it's been causing some very strange behavior. And now someone's connected that behavior with Food by Fuse. We can't let them discover our real secret. Now, are there any questions? No, sir. Mr. Holmes, it's time for damage control. Uh, of course, sir. What do you propose? We need a little drama. Hang on a sec. Why can't you search the building the Octobot was in? <sighs> We need permission. The protesters can't help because they don't remember a thing. So then you're giving up? Who, me? Well, of course not. I'll be patient, stay on the case, and figure this out. You go, girl! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. You seem less jiggly now. <laughs> I guess so. Hmm, I wonder why you were so restless. Maybe you've just been really bored lately. <gasps> we should do chores! Seriously? <laughs> to the speedy work of the firefighters. <laughs> and you too. Doctor, no! Another fire started in the west corner. Tobot R, did you hear that? Tobot R is on the move and ready to put some sizzling to a stop. Okay, where did the flames originate? In the workshop. Go, Tobot R. You have a fireproof shell and can go deeper into the smoke. Falling debris has trapped the Tobot. Call HQ for backup. Yes, sir. Tobot R! R! Oh, thank goodness. I everything okay? <laughs> it's more than okay. R's paint has a strong thermal barrier. Luckily, yours truly was able to answer the call. If only we could stop these fires from starting in the first place. Oh, isn't that the truth? Oh! Huh? Make a safe path. The fire appeared to be under control, but then a new blaze started in a nearby warehouse. <gasps> Doctor No! Oh, hey guys. No, Doctor No! Hold right? on! Can you wake up? Look, it's bad. Say no. something. Oh, oh no! Why are you making so much noise? Can't you see I'm trying to snooze? He's, He's fine, aren't you? Fine and dandy. <laughs> Just taking it easy. What about R? Where did he go? Well, he isn't quite himself. Testing. Oh. Test. Test. Three. One, two, three. Test. 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 Oh. oh boy, man, what's gotten into him? I think we should get him to dad right away, don't you? 
And now, here's the latest, another factory fire. Police, firefighters, and Tobot R were there on the scene. Oh no, how does this stuff keep happening? Didn't you hear? The factory was empty. It really makes you wonder what the cause was. That building's old. I bet it's the wiring. Can't be. My friend Janet works there. You know Janet. And she says the place was just renovated. It's mice. The little guys chew through anything. Oh, come on now. You're not falling for that. It's a real problem. I'm serious. But so many fires at once. Hey, 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 listen up, gossip lovers. I know the truth. Now, <clears throat> I happen to know that we're being overrun with UFO landings, so... The spaceships cause sparks. <gasps> really? Uh, oh, huh? Keep your voices down. The police aren't telling us anything, right? They know that the whole story would cause citywide panic. But the aliens are already among us. One of them sold me my shoes. Hello, Mom, you just stole that from my creative writing homework. Well, except for the selling shoes part. But seriously, that doesn't even make sense. I don't agree. Sometimes art imitates life, you know. Yeah, maybe, but not this time. Anyway, my new story is called Food by Fuse and Restless Kids. Oh, not this again. Who cares about that silly no good food chain? Hun, we need to focus on preserving our own earthly society. This chain is worse than aliens. Dolly, come on now. Why don't you let your mom talk? So what happens next? Go on, you always tell the best stories. You hear that? I've distracted the public with my brilliant plan. People will recognize you, sir. <clears throat> All right. The bed I'm lying on is a spe specialty e model. Soft on my hardware. He's annoyingly talkative. Franklin? Sir, can you hear me? Is it just me? Or is this my. Oh, what's wrong with R? Do you think the heat scrambled his mind core? I don't know. But Dad and Limo are working on it. They'll find out what's wrong. Hmm. There's nothing to worry about. He just needs some tweaking. Ah. <sighs> It could have been worse. If this boulder had been any larger, it could have easily damaged the mine core. Should we go visit Dr. No? After we get R patched up, of course. What do you think, kids? Okay. The fires were a brilliant idea. Yep. I'm not just a pretty face, and don't you forget it. That may be true, sir. But we must find someone else to blame for all this. Investigations will continue until they find out who is causing the recent trouble. Yes, you're right. And that's why we need a really big headline. How about... we cast a brand new lead in our big drama? Oh, isn't that Tom Fuse? Something yes. everyone Take will worry something. about. Here, yes, me. someone they will fear. On this thing? Mm -hmm. But yes. do you know anyone like that? Of course. Acne. Yeah.